So folks, another beautiful day in Cape Pillsborough, Queensland, Australia. I'm just going to take a walk along the beach to a favourite spot of mine where the volcanic ash erodes from the cliffs up above and falls down to the beach. And sometimes if you're lucky you can split it and find some nice leaf impressions where the gently falling ashes has uh, fallen onto the leaves that were there at the time Gent gentle enough to preserve th their shape sometimes really nice the beach is nice this morning looking good all the tourists are down here for the weekend The sands here are rich with mica, giving them that grey colour that sparkles in the sun. The old volcanoes here used to go up in this shape, but it's all gone now, and then down again. Just the western flanks remain now. Anyway, what else can I show? Now, although the ash layers are, are present everywhere at different levels it's um it's only now and again that you'll find one that's visible because of the vegetation the tropical vegetation oh we're a subtropical area with a lot of rain and it, it's hard to see with all the vegetation so i'll take you to a point that's up around this corner where the ash layer is exposed and eroding and falling down to the beach and if we're lucky I'll be able to show you these rhyolite um, remnants here are everywhere on the beach one can only surmise that where there's a hill like that goes up like this there's been a outlet for the rhyolite it's come down and onto the beach and flowed down now erosion and weathering has, has only left the biggest, most resilient uh, boulders. I dare say this was just one big, one big mass of rhyolite here, 32 million years ago, or 33, whatever it was, when the volcano erupted. Uh, I said, as I mentioned before, the main volcano was over in this area, but there are various uh, other outlets where the magmas escaped. The erosion leaves these intricate patterns in the weathered rhyolite. You get the rhyolite itself and then the, the hard iron remnants and the weathering just leaves all these honeycomb patterns. You've seen one pattern and you, and, uh, you think it's nice and, you, and, and then you see another pattern that's completely different. There's another different one again. Anyway, onward. I'm getting nowhere stopping here. Here's a good example that shows the big rhyolite boulders that haven't eroded so much and yet the basalt has it's broken down into millions of cobbles all over the beach check this out a um, fallen hoop pine hoop pines are one of the big conifers that grow in this area And this one appears to have fallen, eroded the base and fallen down onto the beach. There are the living hoop pines up there. Nice big one there. Yeah. What I wouldn't give to get a section of this trunk home. 
get on the wood turning lathe. It's really nice material. On we go. Just another quick look at these magnificent trees, the hoop pines. Rhyolite's really eroded away here down into small boulders, which is good for me, much easier walking. Some fellow walkers. Looks like a bit of rock hopping for me to do up here. Down here, the further we get towards the, the water line, the, the basalt poles are, get smaller and smaller as erosion does its work. As we walk up the beach, <clears throat> cobbles gradually light, get larger. But no, in the cliffs, no sign of the basalt left whatsoever. It's all decayed out. Only the rhyolite. I, I dare say it's up there somewhere, but it's not visible. Oh, looks like easier walking up here. Might head up there. <clears throat> She's hard going here. Check out, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, check out this storms out to sea. Yesterday when we arrived here it was absolutely bucketing down of rain. I dare say they would have had 70 or 80 mils, millimetres dropped here. But today she's headed off the coast a bit, so the weatherman said, so we're lucky to be able to get this walk in up to here. Now here's the first signs of our ash eroding from the cliffs above and falling down to the beach. There's some big boulders that have worked their way down there. And I should be calling this ash tough when it's hardened like this, it's called tough. This is a rarer site. The basalt's are st still intact here, not completely eroded away into small cobbles. And this is the area I'm heading for where you can see the um, large uh, white ash or tough boulders falling down from the cliffs up there. It's very eroded up here, so, so you're, easy, you're able to access the the freshly fallen ash. Uh, more of what's possibly basalt flows, I'm not certain. I dare say it is though. The heat coming up from this from these rocks is incredible. Very hot and steamy here today. Now not so lucky. It's been a few years since I've been here but today I can only show you small glimpse of one of the ash layers just in there if the video picks it up there's a you can see the lighter area that ash layer would would travel through in a seam where it, where it gently rained down here uh, resulting in these boulders down here on the beach to show you the power of erosion when i was here about Oh, it must be maybe three years ago. This particular boulder here in front of me would have been five or six times bigger and it's just been worn away. All right, we'll take a closer look at this, these ash falls here. And I don't know if I'm going to be lucky enough <clears throat> today to show you anything, but I'll turn the camera off and I'll start splitting a few and we'll have a look. 
just before we start and check out this geode that's formed in the basalt this would have been a gas bubble or gas pocket in the basalt and then over time the chalcedonies formed inside of it and then later on erosion has opened up the basalt to show the a half a geode exposed heat in this corner here is incredible. Right, I've come over to where it's eroding down this gully here and there's a few uh, chunks in the bank there. Now I'm standing in green ants. They're attacking me. If I can show you one. It's a green ant and they bite. So we'll see how we go. The first chunk I dislodged from the bank here, fell in here, I broke it open, not much, but on the second hit with the hammer I've exposed a leaf there. So here we see the leaf impression there and the other half here. Isn't it ironic that looking at the leaf impression here and, and then there's a modern leaf right next to it fallen from the tree. Looks just like it. Amazing. Now just to show you knocking these rocks out of the bank and the heat here and the humidity you might see this sweat is pouring off of me <laughs> anyway back to the task Broke that one. Okay folks, time to say goodbye to the Ash Falls and head back home that way. Nice view of the old volcano here. All right, home we go. Head back and have a cool dip in the pool, resort's pool, I think. <laughs> 